just so people realize the scope of what we're talking about, because this is really ominous, right? So, and this has been coming for a long time, and now Peter Thiel and Planeter is at the forefront of this. And so, this the, the um, Poindexter's and a DARPA program manager. This is from your article. Uh, LifeLog sought to. This is what they sought to do. They sought to build a database tracking a person's entire existence. That included an individual's relationships and communications, meaning phone calls, mail, email, all, plus their media consumption habits, their purchases, and much more in order to build a digital record of, quote, everything an individual says, sees, or does. Jeez. LifeLog. Yeah, would, this program was LifeLog. Yeah. They would. This is LifeLog. They would then take this unstructured data and organize it into discrete episodes or snapshots, while also mapping out relationships, memories, events, and experiences. This seems so Aldous Huxley crazy futuristic, yes. but it's not future. It's here now, and they have and these... Happened decades ago. It happened decades ago. happened decades ago. And these, and so the yeah. person in charge of this right now, or the person pushing it in the private sector, would be Peter Thiel, and Peter Thiel is now responsible for J.D. Vance's funding, and now and getting J.D. Vance connected with Donald Trump, and for funding, being a big funder of Donald Trump and J.D. Vance's campaign right now. And so that's why this is all important. Yeah, it's also important because Palantir is, is really a CIA front company. Right. So um, when they created it and, and picked John Poindexter's brain about how to turn total information awareness into a private company, um, their first funder was the CIA's NQTEL, and the CIA was their only client until 2008. And between 2005 and 2009, uh, the top engineers at Palantir, uh, according to them, made over 200 visits to CIA headquarters.
rehabilitating offenders more quickly, Cognify could enable them to reintegrate into society sooner and contribute to the workforce. This increased productivity could boost the economy and generate tax revenue, further offsetting the initial investment in such technology. Successful rehabilitation through Cognify could lead to safer communities, reduced crime rates, and improved social well-being. This could have far-reaching positive impacts on individuals, families, and society as a whole, contributing to a more stable and prosperous future.